I'm Chris and this is my cheap soldering iron kit review video. So I bought this over 20 years ago and it finally decided to die on me. It's very sad. I never really liked the way this one felt, but it got the job done at 40 watts and on the light gauge stuff, 20 watts. So I got this for under $20, I think it was $18.50. Yeah, I just came to the realization I only do soldering about once a year. So I said, let me get something with a kit, something that we can use like we're about to demonstrate right now. Zip the thing back up and forget about it. First thing to note, the size of it is a lot smaller than I thought. It's about the size of a Sharpie, which may not be that bad. That's why we're going to test it out. Just plugs in the wall. The cord is a bit short, around four feet. 60 watts, that's more than my old one. And you can see the little temperature switch. You just turn it up, but instead of a fixed position, you can fine tune the heat to whatever you want. I like that. So it's just some kind of ceramic looking heating element. It's gonna transfer heat to the tip. This unscrews, I don't know if I should unscrew this or not. Let's see. All right, yeah, I don't think we should have done that. Let's check out the little workstation it gives you. Is this going to be enough? I guess you just set it like that. I don't like this. Yeah, this is, uh, I guess if you did it like that. Yep, the cord's short and it's going to irritate you. No, we have to move way over now. All right, I mean, the cord is annoyingly short. <sighs> All right, another issue is the cord weighs more than the whole tool itself, so... It wants to drag it real easy. So this RC kit came with no electronics and no wires on the motor. So we have to figure something out. Okay, so we need that plug. So we have to unsolder it first. It's heating up. So let's check out the stuff while we wait. So solder wick, I honestly have never used that. I don't even know what that's for. It's got these very cool looking tweezers. Oh my God, I like these. Okay, and we got some tips. So it has a soldering vacuum pump. Mine was actually cross-threaded in there, so be careful. I unscrewed it, screwed it back, perfect. It locks, and then if you put your finger, it should hold a vacuum. Try it again, put your finger, it's holding vacuum. So it does work. It's got a very cool Harbor Freight style pick set. So it has your little solder coil. I like these. Alrighty. All right, let's try to get this off. Oh, okay, it's working better. Okay, I like it now. Kind of get the wires tied together the best you can. So this is not a how-to solder video. This is a solder review. The way I do it is not the point. We're just trying to see if it can do it. Dang, I like it. You have, you have really good control with this gun because it's like a Sharpie. I like it better than the old one now. And this is 22 gauge wire. It's super tiny and super hard to work with. Okay, so I just heat it up until you feel the wire get warm. Okay, it's hot now. Dang. All right, and a few minutes later, we got some soldered wires. Okay, I have never soldered up little motors like this. I'm just not used to working on stuff this tiny. Oh, it works easy. All right, that one worked out better. Okay, so for me, it's a little hard working with this tiny little wire. I'll figure it out. It doesn't look too good, but it is soldered 100%. And of course, these are with the heat shrink. This thing is ready to go now. Servo hooked up. Where does this motor hook up? Hopefully, we did not make it too short. God dang it, we almost did. Man. All right, so the project was at a standstill, and now it's working. Check this out. 
Very cool. With the help of the soldering iron, our project is done in under 15 minutes. So at the store right now, they have some of these small ones like this, but they're cordless. And you charge a battery up in here. There was no way in the world I was going to buy one of those. So the only thing bad to say about it is the short length of the cord. It heated up quick. It did the job. Under $20 shipped to your house. Nice carrying case. I highly recommend it. It passes my test 100%. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.